Good afternoon, everybody. Once again, a warm welcome to the uh, Sunday meditations with the Light Warrior Collective. Once again, we're all over the globe in many different time zones, so I won't step into the good morning, good afternoon, good evening for everybody. We're just so happy that you're um, with us uh, today on this, uh, this beautiful Sunday. Make yourselves comfortable for the next hour. I will be your tech host. If you have any questions, uh, send me a direct message via the chat if possible, and I'll sort you out as soon as possible. Um, make yourselves comfortable for the next hour. Make sure you got something to drink and that uh, you won't be disturbed. And for the introduction for today's session, I will hand it over to our beautiful host, Inken. Thank you very much, Bauta. Yeah, welcome back or welcome to the new faces. We are always happy to connect on this Sunday with all of you sharing our moments of empowerment and uh, just yeah give you a safe space to to be be with us and we always are looking for special guests and i'm really excited <laughs> to hand you over um, to actually our master trend because he's really connected through a chakra quest that they did together with Lindsay and uh, yeah we, we felt drawn to invite her as she's doing a beautiful work and we really felt this is something that we should share with all of you so Trent I quickly hand it over to you so you you can give your introduction to to Lindsay for Lindsay and uh, Lindsay with all my heart I'm happy to have you here with us thank you for being here Okay, thank you, Inken, and uh, thank you, Walter, for the intro at the beginning. Today, guys, we have a very special guest. I've known Lindsay for, I guess, a couple of years now. I mean, it's starting to, starting to add up, uh, and uh, we went through the shock request together. We were both ambassadors there for a while, so I got to know uh, Lindsay a lot better through that. So I've seen her um, grow and really blossom uh, in, a, in a tremendous way. And um, so I'm very excited to have her share her work. By day, she is a, a uh, what do you, how would you, let me read it to make sure I say it right, but a social emotional learning coach with the school system. So she, by day, wearing the, uh, the school clothes, but by night, <laughs> she is a best selling children's author. So I'm excited. I think she's going to do a great job today. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Lindsay. Thank you, Trent. <laughs> it's been great to, to share and grow uh, our spaces together. And I'm just so grateful for this space today and sharing this gift of health and, and love together. Um, I've been practicing... Well, my inner work journey kind of started in 2016, 2017, uh, and since then, just a lot of growth and expansion. And so this practice that I'm going to be sharing with us today is based on um, a principle within, within energy of the water up, fire down. And so we'll be doing some seated. I'm going to give us a little bit of background on that. And then we'll do a standing practice. So um, as I'm doing the intro, if any of you want to maybe um, find a location for standing, it, we're really just going to be standing in a particular like space. It's not a lot of um, movement with the lower body, more grounded with the lower body. Um, you can do it seated, but the standing just allows for a little bit more of that connection. So um, making that choice later on as we um, grow together in our time. So let me share my screen so that we can kind of learn together. If, if some of us may know this uh, principle, some of us may not know this principle. So it's really restoring this healthy rhythm of life. Our rhythm is our natural vibration that we have within our bodies. And we also, everything around us has its own vibration as well. And so as we're moving throughout life and throughout everything. We're also gaining all of the other rhythms around us. So we then have to restore that natural rhythm within so that we can continue to be healthy. So just like as a chord on any instrument and as that vibrates, we have the different vibrations. And the ultimate space with this is the water up, fire down. 
which is almost like a golden key of, of immunity and of health. And this work is really based off of Il Chi Lee's work. Um, I started practicing with body and brain uh, in 2016 as well. And so that's where I really started to connect with this um, energetic principle. And essentially what it is, is we want to have a warm belly, our warm intestines and a cool head. We want to do everything that we can to maintain that in our life. And this principle is really over, I want to say, um, 2,500 years old. So other um, teachers over time have also connected with this principle. But I'm going to be speaking through my own experience of what my experience is. And all of us will experience it a bit differently. So when we have this cycle within us, it's as if the, the fire within our core, it heats up. And as it heats up, it pushes the water from our kidneys up our spine to cool our head. And then that basically pushes, because it's more dense, back down to the heart center. The heart continues to warm that as it continues its way back down to the core. And it's just this constant flow of water up and then fire down. And we have different ways our energy runs within our body, but this is going to be the lens to look through for our healing today and our, our experience. And it's almost like as if the sun is beating into the core, and then that basically makes the water evaporate up and back down. So as I mentioned, I want to just give again a shout out to all of my mentors. And if you're interested, um, there's a lot of um, tools with this, but the Water Up Fire Down book you can explore, and you can also explore more with the body and brain as well. And so with our core, as many of us know, our gut is so essential, and there's more and more research being done, known and unknown, the power within our core. And even just our hormones that are there, we have 95% of our serotonin, which is creating that happiness, <laughs> happiness hormone. We have the 50% of dopamine being created here, which is really that pleasure. We have 70% of our immunity cells are housed within our core, our gut. And we also know the, the connection of our intuition and our gut brain and our intuition and our head brain. So all of this together, we're really creating this, this health. And especially coming into 2022, we still have the pandemic happening. This is just um, another powerful way of continuing to maintain our health. And being in schools, personally, I'm around a lot of different um, opportunities to create health and maintain health and a shield of health. Um, and I think some of us here might also be teachers in other ways with other people as well. So. I'm, I'm speaking from experience, the fact that I've still been able to stay resilient through all of this and honor my health through all of this. And I really believe in this practice. And truly the key ingredient is heat, but the heat needs to stay in the core. Um, and before we check our, our temperature with this for a moment, just thinking about like, you've heard of being hot headed, right? So it's literally a thing. When our head is hot, we already know the water up, fire down principle is not happening. So when we notice that message in our body, we want to create this opportunity for the heat to travel back down because what's happening is it's getting stuck in the heart and it's in this loop here. We have to pull it down. Um, so let's just for a moment, take your hands and just like touch your, your head, just wherever your forehead, your ears for me, my ears, let me know, um, if, if my head is hot or not. And even the back of your neck and feel free to share in the chat box. Like, what do you notice? Does your head feel hot? Does it feel cool? And we're going to probably be in all different spaces. Cause some of you may already have this natural, um, flow happening constantly without even knowing what it is, but just just notice, does your face, your ears, your neck, does it feel typically, is it hot or cold right now? Aha. Uh -huh. So we have cool, hot, 
Yes, warm. And, and this isn't anything judging right now. We're just acknowledging what's here in the present moment. And we will check again at the end. So warmth. Now double check and placing your hands on your abdomen. And just notice what that temperature is there. And it's more of an internal temperature versus the external skin. So see if you can connect within and just check, does my core, does my, my gut, my abdomen, really the second chakra space, does that feel warm or cool? And go ahead and type in the chat box what you're noticing there with your abdomen. And you might be noticing a sensation of, does it feel like there's movement? Does it feel stagnant? Does it feel like there's a natural flow or just kind of there? Uh -huh. Noticing if there's a difference between the head and the abdomen and if the abdomen is cooler or warmer than the head, right? So just, just take that internal check. Yes, cooler than head, warmer than head, warm and comfy. <laughs> Absolutely. Second chakra feels warmish, but too far off from the head. Yes, interesting, right? Yeah, so just, just keep this awareness. Um, and this is also letting us know we can check back at the end what we had. It's always good to keep, keep that awareness. So, uh, and feel free to keep sharing, but as we, we move into the next space, uh, many of you know my, my passion for butterflies, and truly to me, it's a symbol of resilience, it's a symbol of change, it's a symbol of bravery, and I believe we all have that butterfly that's within our heart. So throughout the practice, we're also going to be connecting it within to that butterfly that's within you for who you are, and that truly is your true self. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and, and I'm going to move over here because we're going to move into our standing practice. So um, check your own volume if you need to make an adjustment as I'm going to be speaking from over there in a moment. And also if you want to make any changes where you're at as well. So go ahead and make your adjustments if you wish to stand, if you wish to um, sit. I'm going to cue only for standing, but everything you're going to just focus if you're sitting, just the spine and the movement of the body. They're really just main um, joint movements. So I'm going to just mention again here, uh, if you need to make an adjustment for your volume, go ahead and do so. This is about the, the voice that I'll be using to guide us. And just checking to make sure everyone can hear me. Okay, Walton, thank you very much for the thumbs. All right. As you make your way into your space, whether you're seated or standing, you're really connecting with your feet. So bringing your awareness down to your feet and checking with your left and right side if they feel balanced or one side more than the other. And just being aware of where that is. And then begin to make some movement of rocking from left to right, feeling your feet. Noticing just in general how your feet move and connect. Left and right. Noticing your toes, your edges, your heels, your arches. And then bring some stillness back to the center and then forward and back. Forward and back. Recognizing how your feet are connected to the ground. Some of us are actually in nature. I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> so actually connecting to the ground. And then recentering. And then going around in a circle the edges of your feet. And as you're doing this one direction for a moment, you can imagine your roots actually opening from your, your the opening chakras at the bottom of your feet down into the earth. And then moving the opposite direction, same thing, and allowing that to go even deeper. Really grounding and making that connection. 
And then back to center, last one is we're going to be making like a figure eight with your feet. And there's no right, there's no wrong. Just notice how your body wants to move. Notice your feet, notice how it's making that connection with the ground. And then changing directions. Down the edges, up through the center, on to the other foot. And really rooting down into the earth. And then bringing some stillness into the body. And noticing even here if there is a different sensation of balance. And then taking a breath in, pulling up through the breath, the energy from the earth, and letting it stay into the abdomen, into the lower chakras as they, on an exhale, pushing back down into the earth to create this kind of a flow. And just feel how that feels in the body and your own speed. My role here is to create space, but you create your experience. And on your next inhale, allow that energy to come up through past the second chakra, all the way up through your spine, up out over into, into the space, into the bigger, even out of the crown chakra above. And just noticing that connection. And then on an inhale, pulling that in back down through the spine and letting it meet back into the lower chakra space, especially the second chakra. Just be here for a moment, allowing that flow to be. And then with, with a slight bend in your knees, because we want to keep the energy flowing here, we're going to move through the different joints in our body, opening up the different meridian channels here. So starting with the neck, bringing your chin down to your chest, one direction, letting your head roll from one way to the other. And for your breath, allowing in through the nose and out through the mouth. This is a natural detox space. We also do this through light, sound, and vibration, changing to the next direction if you would like, or whenever you feel ready. The light can be a smile. The light can be you pulling the light within. The sound can be your breath or any rhythm that's around. And the vibration is what we create through the movement. All right, steadying your head as you feel ready, moving down to our shoulders and also our wrists, we'll be making really wide movements. So focusing on your shoulders wide, wide, wide as you breathe in, they come up and exhale, exhale as they come down, one direction you choose as big as you can, like you're giving everybody here a big hug all the way around the world. <laughs> and as you feel ready, you can switch directions. There is no number of times, it's just following your body. And if it wants to stay in one direction, let it. Your shoulders and wrists are all kind of engaged in here, pulling in. Sharing, giving, maybe do one more as you feel ready. And then letting that be. Moving down into our hips, letting your hips rotate one direction. And also notice still your feet are still connected. You're still very grounded here as we're opening. <laughs> Smiling. and changing directions as you feel ready. Opening up the hip joint. <sighs> then bringing some stillness back to center, moving down to our knees and just allowing the knees to rotate one direction.
Exhaling through the mouth. And switching directions as you feel ready. Smiling, grateful for our knees. <laughs> and then bringing back to center and now for our ankles. So feel free if you want to place your hands on your hips and just it's as if the, the balls of your feet are still connected down to the ground, but allowing just this rotation of your ankle with your knee as well, going one direction from your big toe to your little toe, focusing on your ankle, and then switching directions as you're ready. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And shake it out. Placing it back down with intention, and then our other foot, feeling grounded, steady, and sturdy, and begin one direction. Big toe to little toe. And always changing the direction as you're ready, or staying however your body wishes today. Smiling and releasing. Shake it out and with intention, placing it back down. And just check back in with yourself for a moment. Noticing any openings within the body. Regrounding down, connecting up to your heart within as well. And then continuing to sensitize the body, we'll do just a little bit of tapping starting from the top of our head, working our way down. This is gonna allow us to just feel fully. So just the top of your head, down to your third eye, right in your forehead, light taps, just waking up the sensation with the body, to the temples, behind your head, Continuing to exhale through the mouth, back to the temples, down beneath your eyes, under your nose, down to your jaw, underneath your ears, and then tracing the jawline down to your chin. And then to the back, to your neck. Down to the front, just under your collarbone. So with your fingertips for a moment, maybe allowing a sigh out. Uh, and at any point, you can always add the sound vibration for the tapping to just create more purification. Now from the fingertips, open palm one side. So we'll start on the right side, your shoulder, opening that up. Palm is up and traveling down the arm. Again, we're opening up the different meridians here. Down to the palm, back of the hand, up to the arm. Maybe staying a little bit longer at that elbow area. Back to the shoulder. Thumb up. Down the arm. Long meridian with the thumb. Staying at your thumb and <laughs> smiling. Especially for breathing a little bit longer with our lungs. Under pinky side. Traveling up the arm to the armpit, staying here for a little bit for our lymph nodes. Uh, and down the side body. And back up, switch to the other side. Left shoulder, releasing the tension from our shoulders. Palm is up, traveling down the arm. Down to the palm. Back of the hand, traveling up 
the arm, shoulder, smile, <laughs> thumb up and travel down the arm, making sure your legs are still bent at this point too, all the way down to your thumb. Stay here for our lungs for just a few more moments. Pinky side, traveling up the arm, staying at the elbow if you wish, down to the armpit, and down the side body. Now our whole front body, so your lungs, your chest, abdomen and switching if you want to add a little bit of a brain you can go opposite arm waking up the brain something it may not have done yet <laughs> then staying down at the abdomen we're creating that rhythm right so even within our own natural rhythm is happening we're restoring that Okay, around to the back to the kidneys, especially with water up fire down, tapping, awakening, down the back body, back of your legs, down to your ankles, tops of your feet, up the front legs, staying at your knees for just a moment, and up to the hips, also staying at the hips, a lot of emotions with the hips, <laughs> and with a smile, just release to the breath, and down the side, down to the ankle, back up the inter, inner leg, back to the core, and then slowly stop for a moment. And again, just checking in with the sensations of the body, noticing any temperature changes in the body. Then we'll make some, we'll make two fists, and you're gonna be using the pinky side of your fist, and we're gonna be focusing two inches below the navel, almost like two inches in. You'll be feeling uh, just a tap. So we'll be here for a few moments, and you're gonna create your own rhythm with this. Okay, so play around with, with how the taps feel. Do they feel light? Do they feel strong? Does your body want light? Does your body want strong? And you're creating heat. So our attention and our eyes are basically focused downward. All right, so just get into your own rhythm, your own internal drum beat. And making sure we'll breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Allowing this state of immunity and purification to happen. And sometimes you may just want one hand and just feel how that feels and then the other hand. Notice if your hands want to be in the same location or are they kind of around? Are they in unique rhythm? And can you pull that to the one location just below, below the belly button? And smiling. Being grateful for our abdomen. Danchan, danchan, second chakra. If you wish to add a little bit more to open up even the base of the spine, you can add um, moving your head from left to right. We call it brainwave vibration. You can decide what you'd like to experience today. So we'll be here for about a minute. See how much heat you can create. And I'll bring us back by the sound of my voice.
Okay, noticing any changes, staying within, staying with the feeling in the body, slowly stop, and then rub your abdomen clockwise as that is the um, way our intestines move. For me, it's opposite of you right now. And then noticing again any changes. Now bring your palms a little bit of a space between, so you can decide how much space there is, but we're gonna connect now down to that energy within. Can you feel that space, making that connection? Noticing if the space feels bigger or smaller and just connect. And if you can't yet feel that space, imagine if, if you can, and what would it be? And often smiling allows that connection to happen even deeper. And as you feel that connection, see if your breath can connect to that. So as you breathe in, allowing the hands to expand and exhale as it comes into the abdomen without touching, just honoring that space. Notice the rhythm your body feels now. Maybe you're noticing sensations or vibrations in the body. Different heat, different temperature. And with this practice, we're actually connecting to our energy body that is just beyond. And as you feel connected, you might notice that this actually wants to move in another way. So kind of creating your own, basically like an energy dance. So you might notice maybe it wants to move quickly, slowly. Maybe it wants to move in its own pattern to the side, below, above. Following the flow of energy. But Tai Chi and Qigong is very, very much connected to just that flow of energy here and creating it as your own space. You keep hearing me say your own. It's important that you follow your own internal guidance because that's what this is right now. You're connecting with your true self. And as you're guided to move and your body to move, and even if you might not be able to feel that energy move, move as if you did, because that's still inviting the possibility of feeling that energy with and beyond the body. You're creating that coexistence, that duality, the physical body, the energy body, spiritual body. Maybe in this special space, you decide you want to ask any questions or guidance that you wish to know. Or maybe you just enjoy the sensation, continuing to feel that flow of water up and fire down within this space. Again, we'll be here for about a minute, so just explore. Fully surrender to whatever is there. If you find your thoughts or sensations leaving, invite it back, maybe with the word within, maybe with the phrase, I'm creating help, or I am in the feeling of my body. There's no right, there's no wrong. Just be in the space of peace, of healing, of love. If 
you might notice that your palms change with the sensation of heat or tingling or magnetism or an energy glove. Create what you want. And with a smile, slowly bring the movement into your heart. So placing your hands onto your heart with gratitude. And checking and reconnecting. Bringing your palms together, go ahead and rub your palms to create more heat. And then bringing your palms, facing them out into the world. And perhaps you wish to create that mind screen. And first placing yourself on that mind screen for you. And sending this healing to you, this love or whatever you wish to identify this with to you. And then to every single light warrior here today, bringing them and bringing us together here, past, present, future, all light warriors. We also have our service of light warriors and Hongi. And then bringing your family, your friends, connecting with them and sending them all the love from you to them. People known, people unknown, people who need it the most. So a lot of people who need this amazing light and love and healing and flow in our world. And as you feel expanded, maybe you invite the whole world or even beyond the world. Smile, knowing that you are an amazing human, that you are an amazing light warrior. And then bring your hands slowly back to your heart. Reconnecting back to the heartbeat. And then taking three breaths together as a community, breathing in love and giving love. Breathing in help. Exhale and giving help. And breathing in anything you need. And exhaling anything you no longer need. Letting it go. Go ahead and sweep down your body. Just with love of this practice, love of your body, energy body, physical body spiritual body. And again, double check your temperature and just notice if there have been any changes. Maybe there have, maybe there haven't, that's okay. It's for the possibility of it to happen. And feel free to share and come back to the chat box as we begin to close. Just continuing to stay within, checking back. What do you notice?
And there's no rush, just whenever you continue to feel yourself welcoming yourself back. Maybe again, looking around the room, maybe just deepening your breath. And just share any noticings, whether in the chat box or if you wanna share out loud, you can too, and honoring the voice and vibration that the voice brings as well, knowing that even our voice is ability to purify within. <clears throat> Noticing some changes and warmth, gratitude. Wonderful. <laughs> Same temperature, yes. Noticing any changes. Thank you all. <laughs>